Now that is downright unsettling. Hi, I'm Kim Hayden, and I was asked why Kim's Kitchen? Because kitchen's the heart of the home, and I sell homes, not just houses. So come on in and enjoy this recipe. Alrighty, so Halloween. We're all going to parties. We're doing lots of entertaining, having some fun. Trick what do you treating. Trick or treating. What do you do? Uh, what do you take that's not candy? So we're going to make witch's fingers. They're fun, easy to make, great for kids to help you with. And they're cookies. They're cookies. Cookies instead of candy. But um, witch's fingers are actually very, very, very super simple. We're going to start out with our uh, one cup of softened butter. Okay. So that's why it's easier. Yep. Yeah. And one cup that's of icing out. sugar or powdered sugar, whatever you want to call it. it looks like a bottle, but that's flour. Yeah. So, what we're going to do is we're just going to mix this down to where it's nice and creamy. Would you like a wet damp cloth? No, I think we're going to be okay. Trick to making sure your powdered sugar doesn't fly anywhere, everywhere if you're making icing is you take a damp uh, tea towel and you put it over the top. And what will happen is you can turn this on and your your icing sugar, your powdered sugar, won't fly everywhere. It'll just fly on the top. So we're just creaming that down nice and neat. So it's going to be nice and a nice creamy. You want it all mixed in nice and neat. So next thing is, is we add our egg. You can help me make the witch's fingers. I get shell and everything. I'm sure you'll get shell and everything. So no, 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 no. no. Next will be a teaspoon. of almond extract and a teaspoon of vanilla. Careful. Perfect. <laughs> on. Okay, I can just see you jump back. <laughs> so I'm just going to scrape my sides down really good. Okay. Like good. A uh, teaspoon of salt. Sugar tastes better. Make sure you're scraping the bottom of your dish to go along. So we're going to start slowly adding uh, two and three quarters cup of flour, just all purpose flour is all good. So once we have this all mixed up, it's going to go into the fridge for 30 minutes so it's nice and firm. And while you're working with it, you only want to um, take out about half your dough at a time. Just so it stays nice and firm, because it is a butter base. Okay, and then we got our baking powder. Oops, pardon me, sorry. Can I do it? Yep, slowly, gently. Okay, so get that good and mixed up. Next step. Next step will be to wrap it up to go into the refrigerator for 30 minutes. And you're going to see it's quite stiff, but believe it or not, we want it to be stiffer. Kind of like a plate.
Play-Doh texture, eh? For butter cookies? Get your fingers out of there. I know, the dough's good. Shouldn't eat the dough. All right, now it's good and solid. That butter's firmed back up, and we are ready to go. So if it's gonna take you a while, if you're the only one doing this, you wanna just break off a chunk of your uh, dough and work with it. And then, you know, keep the rest in the fridge so it doesn't get too warm. But, here you go, Max. So, just start working that. Uh, I had the hot water on. Okay. Now the trick to making a really ugly finger is you want to make that knuckle. You want to make a, uh, that kind of a Pinch in that knuckle, so there's a big, ugly knuckle. Just roll that underneath. Whoa, what ugly knuckle. Um, they say use red jelly, red dye. I personally, and you can just take the end of your butter knife and make the impression of the fingernail of the fingernail oh. and you take your I use raspberry jam I like raspberry jam you can use blanched one. almonds you I can use one. I just got sliced almonds here that looks weird so that's unbaked that's the first one Ooh. Doing good, Max. You want to work your dough? You look good. No, oh, Mom, we should make a hand. Okay. So, off and running to put our scary witch's fingers. Okay? Look good? Alrighty. We're baking it at 325 on a lightly greased cookie sheet for 20 to 25 minutes. All righty. Oh, perfect. Yes, look at those, Maxine. Watch out, it's hot. It's perfect. Okay. Nobody laugh at this, but this is how I, I like to get in nice and tight. Why'd you take off that from the spatula? Because it's too long otherwise. Mm -hmm. That's perfect. Along with the rats? Those with the side. That the would be a fun party, wouldn't it? Yes. And cookies. Cookies. There we go. Witches fingers butter cookies for your Halloween treats. Thanks for coming. Get this recipe at KimAndDougHayden.com, and uh, be sure to visit us for the next one. That's it for today. But remember, always give your family two options: take it or leave it. Oh, Maxine's already diving in. You should probably let it cool. <laughs> it'll burn your cookie, it'll burn your mouth.